guys should get a little bit closer like you guys love each other. Okay. <laughs> so here we have little John. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at the original LA Farmers Market. Again. Yes. We love this place. Yes, it is. It's a good little update for 2023. See what's new here. Of course, you have the old places here. I don't, it's going to be hard to pass by that Brazilian barbecue and not get any. I know, it's one of it. our favorites. One but of our favorites. what I'm going to try, which is new to me yes. and us, is that pasta corner right yes. over here. Mm -hmm. They yep. have a uh, fresh handmade pastas and I'm excited to try it out. Yeah, it's gonna I remember good. walking by last time, but I'm yeah. going to do it. What are you going to get for lunch? I don't know. I'm going to walk around. And um, Christopher is here with us. He's our cameraman. He's our cameraman yeah. today. So, so let's go look and see what we're going to get, babe. All right, let's do it. Here is the pasta corner and here's what they're offering today. They have handmade pastas every day. And check it out. All different kinds. Even have ravioli, spinach, and ricotta. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna have to uh, pick one of these out. They all look really good. This is from the pasta place, the carbonara with the tagliatelle noodle. So you pick your noodle, your freshly made noodle, and then you pick your sauce. So this one has the egg yolk in it, the cheese, the bacon, everything you want in a carbonara. See how nice and beautiful these noodles are let's go ahead i'm going to go ahead and get this oh it first is steaming bite. too and look at this cheese oops this cheese is nice oh that let's get some cheese and meat in now we this had, bite you know some of the best just a couple weeks ago yeah when we're in italy yeah so let's go uh, try this out should be just as good i hope This is a delicious, it's a very rich. So if you're a big pasta person, this is enough for anyone because it's a very rich flavor. This portion size will definitely get you full. Good thing we're sharing, babe. Oh yeah. These noodles are cooked to perfection and there's nothing like freshly cooked noodles. If you haven't had freshly cooked noodles, I mean, the ones we have are just in a packet you know we do the same thing as everyone else does packet at home but you can taste the difference between a freshly done noodle and a packet noodle mm -hmm. cooked al dente perfect perfect amount of saltiness and it's creamy oh yeah this is absolutely delicious carbonara or the bolognese right mm -hmm. So really can't go wrong with either one. This has great flavors on it. You think it would be a little bit, I don't know, maybe lacking some of taste, but it is it has a perfect amount of saltiness from the bacon. The cheese is just great. And you can just see it already has some black pepper that's already mixed in with the pasta. So it doesn't need any additional condiments at all. Not even a piece of bread. Just the way it is, huh, baby? Yeah. This is delicious. Of course, we'll wash this down with some aquapana, right? So it's a perfect pasta lunch. So Christopher did it. He got the Brazilian barbecue. So this is new on their menu. This is the tri-tip. I'm gonna try a little bit of his here. And that, of course, that lovely banana. Gotta eat it together. Cheers. We also got some side mm. of uh, some noodles and some Caesar salad as well. And Christopher, it's good. That try to delicious, flavored perfectly right here. It looks really dry, but it isn't. You match it with a little bit of a sweet banana. Oh yeah, you're gonna really enjoy this, Christopher. 
This is excellent. This is a new pizza place that took over the, another pizza yeah, place, Yeah, the right? old pizza place that was here. These look amazing. So look at this one. Roasted tomato and pesto. That looks delicious. I think we're going to try this one. But then they have the rapini and sausage one that looks good. Right. Even this one here, it's the mushroom, and you see arugula. And then they have the regular standard pepperoni and cheese, but I think that tomato one is the winner today. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the regular uh, small roni cups, but mm -hmm. this one does look really good, though. This roasted tomato and pesto. Yeah, we're going to try that one. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. This pizza just looks amazing. This is the pesto and tomato so you can tell these tomatoes are the little cute heirloom tomatoes. It has pesto on there, has cheese, it has a little bit of olive oil on this too. And the bottom, nicely cooked on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is full of flavor. That cheese is just amazing. The pesto is perfect. The little tart of the tomato on here. These are really good. The dome is crunchy. Mm -hmm. This is a delicious pizza. Even with all of that olive oil on there, it just gives it all that olive oil goodness. You're gonna like this pizza, babe. Well, I wanna try it out. Just by manhandling this crust, I could tell that it's very crispy. It's not like the soft doughy type of cr outer crust. Let's give this a try. This is a very good pizza. Now it makes me want to try those that pepperoni with those little roni cups in it. Because if it's the same type of crust on it, I know that pepperoni would be excellent. But this is a great also pick that we did. The pesto really comes through. So it's, it's, it is delicious. But really, I am curious on how their, their pizza sauce is. But yeah, this this one can't go wrong. Nice and fresh ingredients. Crispy crust. Yeah. This is a good addition to this area right here. Because there's only one more pizza place where the ice cream place is. So it's nice to have a choice. Now. But this is a good place. Friends and family pizza company. We're not going to get any on this trip, but there is a Trejo's Tacos here. We did try them a while ago and it was pretty good. Here's Huntington Meats. Yes, it is barbecue season. So as opposed to having a bunch of restaurants and eateries here, they do have your fresh meats and seafood here. So look at these are already marinated for you. Oh yeah. They all look pretty good. All you got to do is just throw them on the grill. And my mom used to always get these. These are those smoked ham shanks, and she used to do them for her split pea. Put it in their split pea or any of your soup base and use your smoked ham shanks. I know usually they're really inexpensive. I think the other place, uh, Marcona, Marconda, they had it at like $3.89 for their smoked ones. And really inexpensive, very good meat. Freshly, of course, you know it's very well smoked. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Anything meats. This place, I think it's either Maggie's or Maggie's. This one is always delicious. Oh yeah, look at the, the corned beef, he just slicing up. This is something new, look at this one right here. Oh my gosh. You know, we're a big fan of banana pudding, $5. You know, if we come back and get some stuff to take home, we'd yeah. have to try that banana pudding. And they out. have even sandwiches. Right there on the wall, baby. Yeah. And your whole Thanksgiving dinner right there. $17.95. Yeah, and plus hot dogs and everything. Yeah. Oh, we're still looking. Let's yeah. see what else we can get. So behind me is the Pampas the Brazilian barbecue. This is where Christopher got the lunch at. So, you know, luckily I'm kind of surprised there's no line right now outside of the people that are already inside. There's a new rotisserie chicken place here. First time we've seen it, it's called Market Chicken. Right over here. I think I'm going to try their, their two-piece out to give it a try. 
smells and looks really good. In our goal of trying to eat somewhere different, we are eating somewhere different. I haven't tried Phil's yet, and we got their matzo ball soup. So I'm just waiting for it to come on out. From Market Chicken, this is what I got. I got the dark two-piece. It comes with a bunch of sides, but I got the roasted potato and grilled veggies. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of, of, uh, of thigh meat, so here we go. It looks like it's well seasoned, look at that. A lot of seasoning on here. And they do give you a couple of dipping sauces, and they taste a little bit like on the on the sour, hot, Mediterranean spice type of sauces. So I'm gonna skip that for right now and just go straight into the rotisserie. See how this is. That is a good piece of chicken. Wow, it is so tender and full of spices on that skin. That is a delicious rotisserie chicken. I wasn't expecting for it to have so much flavors, but it is on point. Now these roasted potatoes and vegetables. Delicious. I think you're really gonna like these okay. roasted potatoes. I gotta try it out. But she's gonna take a bite of the chicken and let's see if it really is like I'm talking it up. When I first saw this, it was kind of pricey. I mean, it's 12 bucks for this dish. I'm thinking, Two dark meat with some veg. 12 bucks, kind of high, but let me go ahead and try this out. Try on your thigh, huh, babe? Yeah, yeah. Again, it's very well seasoned. Let's see, rotisserie chicken, I'm used to Sam's Club or Costco chicken. So let's just oh, try this one no, out. No comparison with them. This chicken is freakishly soft. <laughs> what tells me that is that this is probably an organic chicken, maybe. It could be. Or just a very right. fresh chicken. Yes. That they make their rotisserie in. Look at that. This is delicious. It is naturally tasty. That's weird, but can I say this chicken is a little bit buttery? It is a little bit buttery. I'm going to go ahead and try it with the sauce. And I think you're right. I think it just tastes like a fresh chicken. Yeah. It's like a cucumber, parsley type sauce to that. There's chicken though. It doesn't need any of that sauce. This is delicious. And let me go ahead and try out this veg. Mm. I love roasted veg. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it, so I have a feeling that sweetness is probably coming out from the natural sweetness of like the carrots. Oh yeah, those carrots are sweet, and they're just, I know they're just roasted. And this is actually a really good chicken dinner. And they had a special too, a half a chicken plus two sides for like 15 bucks. I know it sounds kind of high, especially for a half a chicken, but this is a fresh chicken, not again, like those Costco and Sam's Club, this is, chicken is on a whole nother level. It is. You gotta try this out when you're in farmer's market. Yeah, I definitely highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. I got the matzo ball soup at Bill's Deli. You see these matzo balls are freshly done. Look at these pieces of chicken in here and the carrots and the potato. We gotta go ahead and try out this matzo ball. When she was serving it, it was steaming hot. So I let it cool down just a bit so I can go ahead and eat it. Wow, very nicely flavored. Doesn't need anything, it's not salty at all. You can see the matzo ball, you can tell it's freshly done because it just falls apart and it gets all of that lovely chicken broth in there and it's still steaming. I let it sit for like 10 minutes and it's still steaming. Of course, when you have to come to Farmer's Market, you have to visit Little John's and this is by far the best English toffee we've tasted and we've traveled the world and this is the best English toffee we've tasted. But look at this. But popcorn. today we think we're going to try the popcorn, but look at all of their other snacks they have. Yeah, they have a lot of tasty treats over here and around the corner. Yeah. Like pecan bars, I think they're called, caramel apples. Look at this. Graham crackers. Yeah. Look at Marshmallow Delights. And they make everything here in-house. Yes. 
no one can say no to their toffee samples, which is right here. Anything else for you guys? That's it for today. Thank you. Try it out. I know you guys want it. Everybody want a bite? Yeah, I want a bite. Order. <laughs> Yeah, this is the absolute best mm -hmm. uh, toffee it that is. there is, period. Mm -hmm. So here we have Little John's popcorn with peanuts yes. and with toffee? Yes, and it's done fresh every day. Look at this. Yeah, so you get it with or without peanuts. Try it out. Mm -hmm. Get a good piece. Ooh, look at oh, that Oh, that's one. a good one right there. Caramelly. Huh, mm -hmm. babe? We should do it together. Right. <laughs> oh wow. That's a good caramel corn. I like it because caramel corn. It's caramel. Caramel with peanuts. Yeah, this is very good. Mm -hmm. In fact, these are the ingredients. In case you're allergic to any of that stuff, probably can't uh, get it. But it is delicious. The caramel has like that really good like I like that burnt taste, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Nice oh, yeah, yeah. nice and crispy. Oh yeah. Very nutty on that peanut. The popcorn is still nice and crunchy. It doesn't taste like stale. Like sometimes you would get mm -hmm. popcorn wet. It has a like, chewy flavor. It does it. Oh wow. Their English toffee is delicious and their caramel corn is delicious. Oh yeah. We had to go back to McGee's. Yes. We got their banana pudding, but what's different about their banana pudding is they put a little bit of peanut butter in there. So if you're not peanut friendly, can't get it. They only have this. Here's the vanilla wafers, the vanilla, and the peanut butter. We gotta try this one out. Yeah, Let's we actually that. didn't see that peanut butter thing until we actually started ordering. Exactly. It. So, so it's different. Yep. There we go. First bite. Look at that. Of course, nice and soft. The vanilla wafers are really soft. Oh, this is a big bite, baby. I'm gonna try it. Go ahead, babe. Okay. That's a delicious banana pudding. The peanut butter, the vanilla is, is sweet, but what's nice is that peanut butter kind of offsets it. So it's not as sweet. Let's get a smaller bite for you. Has that peanut butter in there, has the vanilla and the vanilla wafer in there. It's pretty good with the peanut butter, huh, baby? First time ever. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of peanut butter with the banana pudding. Yep. Yep, and that's pretty works. good. It works. And if you can see, there's actually even bananas. Oh, yeah. In there, too. It is good. It's different. And it's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it with the peanut butter. And something so simple, but no one ever thinks about it. Mm -hmm. Hi, babe. Oh, yeah. Maggie's for the win on their yeah. their pudding, their banana peanut butter. I'm glad pudding. we tried it. Mm -hmm. We're here at Bennett's Ice Cream. This place has been here for years, right? Yeah. So we're going to get an ice cream bar. We typically get just an ice cream in a cup. We do. But we're going to get a bar this time. Yep, and they all house make their ice creams, and they even house make their ice cream bars, their frozen bananas, their ice cream cones. So we're gonna get that old-fashioned ice cream bar. That is, since 1963. Yeah. So yeah, they know a thing or two about ice cream. Let's get some. Hello, can I have one ice cream bar, please? Yeah, anything else That's it. Total cost to $8. Okie doke. So this is a Bennett bar. Yes. So you remember in the mall, they had those old school um, ice cream joints that they would give you a, a really thick piece of vanilla, then they dip the chocolate in there, and then you can roll it in nuts mm -hmm. or anything like that. That's what this bar reminds me of. It is massive. Look at that. It's got uh, almonds, right? Almonds and on here chocolate. and peanuts and chocolate. And it's only vanilla on the inside. But this gives me back to like nostalgia when you get those big ice cream bars that was in the mall. Yes, Already? and they even have frozen bananas uh -huh. as well. And the ice cream cones. Yeah, so, try it out. Okay, try it out, go. babe. Mm. Look, I 
Karatina. Mm -hmm. That is good. Yeah, you know, it's the same ice cream they used over here. Mm -hmm. Classic, old fashioned ice cream. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really good and frozen, you know, because it's not a hot day. It's going to take a while to melt, so we'll have time to finish it before it starts melting on it. Mm. Oh. That this is, is really a, good. This is a delicious bar. Yeah. What really stands out is the freshness of the nuts. Yes. Not stale. No. They're crunchy. Yeah. They're not chewy. Yeah. yeah. Really good. And it was eight dollars. Yeah. A little pricey, but it is. It is supporting small business. That's all we like to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. Yeah. That's the bottom line. It's delicious, and it's yeah. worth it. Whenever we can do local, we do local. Sure. That's going to wrap it up here from the original LA Farmer's Market. And if you're visiting LA or you haven't been here, highly recommend coming over here. Yes. It's a great selection of, of foods, yes. mm -hmm. markets, and just has that old LA feel to it. And we've been here several times. If you've seen our past videos, we've mm -hmm. definitely been here for several times. But it is so delicious. And I'm glad we tried other foods than our usual we did. stomping ground spots, huh, baby? Right. We right. still didn't get, again, our usual ones that we usually get is the crepe place. The crepe, right yeah. for our, our delicious crepes um luckily christopher grilled um actually visited pampas we didn't visit it on this trip right uh nona's uh empanadas we didn't get anything so yeah there's a lot of places that we didn't hit up that we normally hit up we tried something new yeah. and everything was delicious pricey though is if i must record here is a bit yes, pricey it can. but it's good it's all local it's I I'd visit I I'd come back and visit and it's connected yeah. to the Grove so right. you gotta come and visit. I always look forward to coming over here. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. always fun. Yes. Do you have any shout outs? I do. Uh, Aurora, congrats on your retirement. Sherry, happy birthday. Tommy G, happy birthday. Lane, oh excuse me, Blaine Tin Loy, happy birthday. Isaiah Laws, happy birthday. Millie, happy birthday. And Laura, thank you so much for watching. Happy birthday! It was the anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And Thanks for watching. Retirements. Yep. Retirement too. Thank wow. you guys. Oh, we're gonna retire one day. I hope. I'm hoping so. I we'll see. I hope so. Yeah. Until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.